So in a move nobody expected, Sleepy Joe decided just now to drop out the presidential race. Can we talk about it? He woke up from that Sunday nap. His body was stiff. The dementia was flooding his mind with thoughts of 1946 when he was a little boy. And he decided to drop out the election. And this just put the Democrats in the whole world of hell. Because who y'all got next? Kamala? We are not electing Kamala. We are not voting for Kamala. I know absolutely none of this lady's policies. I know nothing about this lady for four years. She's been vice president and did absolutely nothing so we're not electing her so what are the democrats going to do what are they going to do joe biden he's taking this one out he's going to sleep and if you're a part of team trump today you just basically gave um donald trump the election with this sleepy joe if you knew you was old we all knew you was old you should have dropped out months ago you could have gave democrats enough time to find a viable candidate but no you want to hold in to the last moment my man can we talk about it? Sleepy Joe really went on Twitter. He really went on, I will not never call Twitter X. It's going to be Twitter forever. He really went on Twitter on a Sunday afternoon like nobody was paying attention and said, hey, and wrote a whole letter. We know he didn't write saying I'm dropping out the president lecture. Can we talk about it, Sleepy Joe? Um, Thanks for four years of inflation, uh, war, uh, and, and no stimmies. You gave us a stimmy for the first year, but then you cut it off in 2022. So I can't mess with your brother. But again, this presidential election is hilarious. And now it's just Trump versus Trump. It's me versus myself. Trump has got to go against himself. Who are y'all going to go get in the next three, four months before this election that's going to actually stand a chance against Donald Trump? This is hilarious. He really waited to the last minute to pull out. Know what I mean? Sleepy Joe. A fool to a damn fool to the end. And y'all think we're going to elect this lady? We're going to vote for this lady? Y'all better go get um, uh, Rorak. Rorama, Barack Rorama. That's the only person you could get. It's not Barack Obama. Rorak Rorama. He better change his name some. Cause that's the only Democrat I can see us electing is Barack Obama. We not elected Michelle. Michelle don't got no policies that we know about. Everybody keeps saying Michelle Obama gonna be a good candidate. Why? Why is that? What in her history has shown that she could be a good candidate? And w when was she elected anywhere? All right. But again, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. I'm still a registered Democrat, and I'm not a registered Republican. I just find it so funny that the fate of our country in one of the most pivotal elections is a comic show. It's, this is comedy. This is pure comedy. Two weeks ago, they tried to unalive Trump, and now Sleepy Joe woke up on a Sunday morning and said, my back hurt. My mom hurt. He probably forgot who he was. They left the diaper on overnight in the White House. It was stinking up the Oval Office because he got to wear the Depends. And now he dropping out the election <laughs> Three months before, I think he spent all of these people money. Imagine donating millions of dollars to the Biden campaign. And he just woke up on a Sunday morning and wrote a letter and said, I'm dropping out. Peace. Yo, he really put up the peace sign and dip. Sleepy Joe. A, f a damn old man and a fool to the end. And I know Kamala is sitting there rubbing her doing a bird man hand rub sis we are not electing you there's no way in this world i can see kamala harris getting elected and it's gonna be a dark day for democracy if she do yeah i pretty much just gave um donald trump the election so we might as well just get ready for donald trump part two we're gonna have some money taxes gonna go down inflation gonna go down i'm with it i'm with it listen I'm not about the politics. I'm about self-interest. And remember, politics is just war in another means. And it's all about self-interest. So it literally is the definition of politics. So saying, oh, you with Trump because he's going to give you money and tax cuts and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. Welcome to America. Well, who got what you got for me? What you got for me? Kamala, you, you she got jail sentences. And she bought. I don't. She scares me. I don't, she could. She, she's worse than Hillary. And who groomed Kamala Harris? Hillary Clinton. And that lady better keep her head down. Hillary, you better not pop up um, nowhere talking about put me in the game, coach. This is some tag team um, WWE stuff. So who? nobody's tagging you in, Kamala. Nobody's tagging you in, Hillary. Y'all might as well just, Joe Biden, you should just stay there. You was going to lose anyway. But now Democrats get to lose by crazy margins. Y'all better go get AOC. I, go get AOC. Go get Cortez Alexandria. Pump, pump up. Y'all really have no, y'all spent four years pumping this guy up and then have no viable candidates to replace him. This is stupidity. All right. It's basic economics. It's basic math. Like you just want to have somebody else ready to go. Except Gavin Newsom. I don't like them. I don't like none of y'all um, people y'all got. Y'all better go find a, a young black lawyer from Chicago, Barack Obama Jr. or something. Because who, what are y'all going to do? Sleepy Joe really woke up and said peace. And just, 
and he gonna disappear into the nursing home, the presidential nursing home. Can we talk about it? Literally, this happened ten minutes ago. Democracy is wild. America is a joke. I love it though. Can we talk about it? 